Hello and welcome to Block Sprout. I'm LJ and this video is the first video in a series of videos that are all about indexing. We're going to go through what is indexing, what are the steps you need to do to make sure your site gets indexed, and I'm going to show you all the tips and tricks that I use to get my site indexed in less than a month. So this first video is just going to be an introduction to indexing. What is it and how does it work? So indexing is simply just the process of a search engine being aware of your site, that it exists and that it has the ability to be shown in search engines. Indexing does not directly translate to ranking. You cannot rank without indexing, but the process of indexing does not affect how high you end up in the search results. So how does a search engine index your site? So it uses little robots or bots, which will crawl, which is essentially a special term for reading your site. This requires a robots.txt file, and the meta tag of this needs to be set to index. If your meta tags and your robots.txt file is set to no index, none of the bots are ever going to index your site. So I'm going to have a video later on in the series on how to create a robots.txt file and how to set the meta tag to index. So how do bots find your page? There are three ways in which, which a bot can find your page. The first is you submit a sitemap. So a sitemap is essentially a network of your content on your site. So it's a special HTTPS URL that structures your content. And this is typically in the form of HTTPS, your domain name with the sitemap underscore index.xml. If you simply add sitemap underscore index.xml to your site, your sitemap will not necessarily exist. So there will also be a video later on in the series on how to create a sitemap. So a bot can find your page through these sitemaps because you can submit these sitemaps to the search engines. And this allows the bots to be able to discover these pages. So if you don't use a sitemap, another way that the bots can discover your page is by crawling the web. So this is simply just coming across your web page as it's looking at all the millions and billions of pages that are already out there. So this often happens by going through a backlink of another web page to your site. But every once in a while, the Google bot can just find it on its own. But this is not how you want to rely on getting indexed because this can take a lot of time. And then you can submit individual pages to be crawled, which is essentially forcing the bots to crawl your page. So what happens after a bot crawls your page? So hopefully you get these first results that it's been indexed. So if you get either of these two results submitted in index and index not submitted in sitemap, that means your search results are on Google. And these results that I'm showing here are very specific to Google. This is the search engine you're going to want to spend the most time on to make sure you're indexed. So if you get the results submitted and indexed, this means that your site was indexed, so it's able to be shown in the search results of Google, and it had been submitted through one of your sitemaps that you had entered into the Search Console. If you get the result index not submitted in sitemap, this means that Google found your page, was able to crawl it, um, but didn't necessarily find it through the specific URL somewhere in that sitemap. So Google, as you see here, does recommend that you should um, resubmit or create a new sitemap to make sure the important URLs are included. What you don't want to see, and I've had this before, is crawled currently not indexed. That's the worst feeling because this means the bots have seen your site and they've decided they don't want to show your results in search engine results. And it's the most frustrating thing ever. 
And unfortunately, when you get these results, there's not much you can do except wait. But I do have one trick that I'm going to show later on in the series. So definitely stay tuned because maybe it'll help you get out of this. And then the last um, warning you can get is not when a bot actually crawls your page. It's before it crawls your page. So these bots can discover a page but not choose to crawl them. This isn't as critical as a crawled and currently not indexed because that means this discovered not indexed just means that it hasn't even had the chance to crawl it. It knows it exists, but it hasn't, you know, put its resources resources into actually crawling the site. So this is where you can individually submit your individual page URLs to try to get the site crawled and indexed. So why is indexing important? important. You can't rank on any search engine without your site being indexed. Um, and, and that's really the, the most important piece. Ranking has to come from a site being indexed. So what we're seeing on the right here is the market share as of March 2022 from Overlow or Oberlu, I've heard both ways. Um, and you can see that Google has 92% of the market share. So it's massive. Um, and followed by Bing, Yahoo, and then a couple international um, search engines, followed by DuckDuckGo. So if you've seen any of my income reports, I've mentioned that DuckDuckGo is slowly on the rise. Sure, it's only at 0.68%, but it's starting to creep up and compete with Yahoo and Bing. So it's something to watch out for in the future. But why it's so important to get indexed on Google is that this is where your organic traffic is really going to come through. The, the bulk of your traffic is going to come through there. But you want to make sure you don't ignore Bing and Yahoo because there's still, you know, almost 10% from these other sources. So you want to put all your, you don't want to put all your eggs in one basket. You want to distribute your site on all these different search engines. So I just want to say thank you for tuning in to the first video in the series on indexing. There's a lot of good content to come on everything that you need to do to get your site indexed. And please like and subscribe so you can stay in the know. So thanks for watching. I'm LJ from Blog Sprout, and I'll see you next time.